Hey guys, Mike from Swell Entertainment bringing you another Let's Play video. Today we're going to be playing Fallout Shelter. This game, I thought at first was very boring. Until a buddy told me that, no man, you just got to play a little bit longer and you'll get used to it. Um, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create a vault. Alright, so they give you three slots. And this game is available for iOS and Androids also respectfully. Alright, so you definitely can save your game from the on the cloud. Um... Let's see, it starts off making you make a little code for your game. So I'm just gonna pick, you know, triple zero. All right. And what you definitely wanna do is pay, play very, pay very close attention to the tutorial. All right. Of course, I doesn't wanna get me a third zero. I want the other zero. All right, there we go. So we'll go ahead and create that vault. All right, so like I said, you wanna go ahead and pay very close attention to the tutorial. Me. I always used to just skip through and just like, eh, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. But, you know, as you progress in levels, there's some things that you're, you're going to wonder what's going on if you don't really pay attention to the beginning. So, I would definitely say pay very close attention to the tutorials. Alright, so we'll go on from there. Alright. So, definitely if you're a uh, fan of the game Fallout, you'll definitely be a fan of this game right here. Which I think the people that they have, the special characters... Our characters are actually incorporated in the game. Alright. So we got that. We're going to stand by. Alright. And also Mr. Handy. Which is a robot that you get sometimes. If You can actually buy it in the uh, actual. With money. Um, I actually got lucky on one of the cards. And I got it for free. Uh, this robot's pretty cool. I mean it just goes through on each floor. It'll collect your resources for you. Instead of you having to click, click, click does it for you automatically um, you can set them out to explore for you but we'll get into that a little bit later so let's go ahead and get this started here uh, once everything loads up I'll go ahead and explain everything in the detail for you guys uh, but like I said I, I thought this game was really slow to start I was like very turned off by the game but now I'm a true believer that I actually like this game all right so this lets you know that you are the overseer of a vault okay so it says welcome to your new vault overseer Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. We'll click on OK. And as you see, the graphics in the game are actually pretty cool. All right, so then what they want us to do is build our first room. So we're going to tap on the hammer icon on the top right. All right, so what we have, we can build a power generator, which it um, requires the uh, people to have strength, which, you know, the better your strength, the more resources you can produce more output you can produce okay and you want to be as very efficient as possible in this game because if you're not efficient you're not going to be making any resources and your little citizens are going to die basically or be very sad and be very unproductive and you don't want that because you want to be successful in these games all right so that's going to cost 100 caps which is the currency in this game all right so let's go ahead and build that um and we have choice to pick where we want to put place this okay um, if you look down towards the bottom, you have these little rocks right here. You can break the, you have to break these rocks if you want to progress down further down that, down there. But you have a very big, um, amount that you can actually build on, okay? And it goes all the way over here to the right, and we'll just go back to the left. Alright, so what I usually do, I like to keep everything on one little side, basically. So what I do with my power generator, I'll put it right here. Alright, as you see above the power generator I just built is where the living quarters are, and that's where your dwellers are going to live, or, like, hang out, basically. All right, so now it says, now we need dwellers to make the power generator produce power. We'll click on OK. All right, as you see from the left here, we have some little dwellers or some people that are like, you know, ready to be safe. So they're over here just hanging out. All right, so it says, look, new dwellers have shown up at your vault door. Click OK. So it says, let's start, let's look at the stats of the dweller. So tap, what we do is tap a dweller, and it'll bring up a little menu here. This guy's name is Jerry Hill. I'm sure he's incorporated with the game Fallout, but I'm not really sure because I never really played the game. Um, if you look here, what I just clicked on, you see that all the stats that these uh, dwellers have. This guy has five strength, one perception, one, inde uh, one endurance, one charisma, two intelligence, two agility, and he has luck, which is probably at one as well. So let's go. I can't really see that because the guy has big heads in a way. So we'll click OK. All right. So this guy has five strength. So where do you think he would be more? likely to be very um, good service he will be better at the power generator so we're going to drag this guy or we're going to click him first so we clicked on the guy we're trying to click the guy and we're going to drag him to the power generator just like so 
Then we have the new one. We have the, the girl right here. All right. So we're gonna hold on this one, which I want to check out their stats. So it looks like they want me to put them in the power generator, which is kind of weird. I mostly play these games on iOS. I don't really play Android games too much. But you also see that their uniforms actually change as well. So they really can't keep the same uniforms. Unless they're one of the special characters, then they'll, their uniforms will actually change. All right, so up on the top right, you see that we have caps of 500, which is our currency. So that lets you know that you can actually produce or you can buy um, something up to 500 caps. All right, it says, now look, dwellers are working. The room will start producing resources. Double tap a room to take a closer look. So we'll go ahead and zoom in. We'll look at Jerry and Jane over here. And it says, if you're in dire need of extra resources, you can rush, you can use the rush mode, the rush button to open the rush menu. Um, with rushing, you have to be very careful because if they actually fail the rush, then you can actually get attacked with like uh, like mole rats, um, some kind of little bug looking things, uh, stuff like that, or fires. All right, so it's not too bad. But right here on the bottom in the middle, it lets you know that this is the power generator. Um, you have uh, 10 strength working here. And you have two minutes until the um, the resources resources will be produced. Uh, so we're, this game wants us to go ahead and rush that, so speed the time up basically. So we'll click on that, and it lets us know that we have 31 percent chance of receiving an incident. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate it and test it out. And there we go, success. So that gives us extra caps. So we just got 31 caps off of that, and we'll click OK. And it wants to build something else here. So they want us to build a diner next, which requires agility and 100 uh, caps to build it. So I usually put mine over here on this, like so. And it says, let's build one more room. So they want us to build a water treatment plant, okay? Which takes perception. So I usually just build it down below, like so. All right. So it says, great work. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Look at the meters and keep track of your resources needs. All right. So if you look at the top middle, um, it shows that the, uh, the one that's in red, which is the power, which we have the two people, the two dwellers in there. Um, the next one's the, the, the food, which you know, is produced by the diner, which is pretty good right now. And the one for the water, which is produced right. So, all right, so let's click OK. All right. So it says now that you basic rules of the overseer role, keep expanding your vaults. Just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy. Good luck. All right, so we have some other dwellers that decided to show up for the party here. All right, so, hmm, let's see. These rooms can expand with just two people unless you actually make them bigger. Um, so we're pretty good on resources. And on the top right shows us that we just received, we have a uh, maximum of two uh, dwellers right now. And we just got an expansion of five. So we can bring five more in. So what I want to do is look at Frank Curtis's stats right now. Um, he's two strength. Mm. So I think he's going to be good with the agility right now, which is where you need for food. So I'll go ahead and drag this guy to our diner. So he can start producing resources there. All right. And the next guy we have here is Jeffrey Webster. And he also has two agility, two charisma, two perception. Um, perception is what you need to make water. So I'm going to go ahead and push him down there for now until we find someone that maybe have better stats than him, but for right now he's gonna serve a purpose there. Um, and you see we uh, got an achievement here. All right, uh, assign two dwellers to the right room and that's completed. And the way we can collect that is right here on the bottom right where they have the little exclamation mark and they have like a little ribbon right here. And this lets you know your achievements, okay? Um, so we assigned the dwellers to the right room so we'll collect 25 caps for doing so. All right, this game also has lunch boxes which give you cards. And the lunch boxes actually give you some uh, pretty good stuff, like, you know, unique unit uh, dwellers, um, Mr. Happy, Robot, or some other caps or power food, etc. All right. So they want us to successfully rush a room, which will give us a lunch box. So let's go ahead and try to do that, which we just did it earlier. So let's go ahead and rush the um, power. Let's collect the power first, and then let's go ahead and rush it. So we have a 41% chance of failing. So we'll activate it and hopefully we'll hope we get the best here. And the room failed. Unfortunately, we got a big thumbs down. So we're gonna get some kind of disaster. All right, so we got a disaster that occurred. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tap continue. 
So it looks like we got a fire and they went ahead and fixed it already. That was quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rush another room in a minute. So let's go ahead and place our other four remaining dwellers outside. Let's put them inside. And we have Julia Mason, which she is good at agility. So we're gonna put her in a diner as well. So she can produce some food. All right. Got the next guy. Oh, he's really high on agility. So what we need to do is probably move the guy that we just placed in there, put him in the uh, the lounge, basically, or the living quarters. Because definitely, like I said, you want the guys with the best stats to be in the appropriate rooms. So like I said, he had high agility. That's five. So we're gonna move him like so. Okay. And get the next guy. It's high in perception, which is gonna be serving purpose with the water. So we'll go ahead and move him down to the, the water area. All right, and we have one last dweller that's waiting to come in, and she is excited to come in here, and we have no place for her right now. Um, so what you can do is move her to the living quarters with the other guy. What you're gonna notice is these guys are very social. All right, so we use the last room for the living quarters. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna level this guy up right here, and wait for the lady to go into the living quarters, and as she in there she's gonna socialize with the guy that's already in there so we'll zoom in and you can actually see what they say so what they say is I'm not a photographer but I can picture you and me together so if you know if you guys are you know have a hard time picking up the opposite sex there you can actually get some pointers from this game as well you know little corny one-liners might work for you I don't know just go ahead and click OK so if they're in each other what they'll do is go ahead and mate and they'll actually make a baby all right, so one thing what I would recommend doing is mixing the guys up instead of using like what I did. I got one guy with high stats and I made him impregnate like all the women. So once those ones had babies and the babies grew up and I try to get them to like mate with the other ones, it was like, wait a minute, they're actually family members. So definitely you don't want incest. Incest is against killing each other. So it says, call for you, it's heaven. Wonder if you're coming home. So these two are liking each other right now. So hopefully they uh, go ahead and make a baby real quick. So we'll just give it a moment here. And I got some little cheesy music in the background. Looks like, sound like some little level, or not level, but uh, 50s music. And they're good. They're loving each other. So they got the thumbs up. They're about to go in the back room and handle some business with some little privacy there. Keeping it parental guidance 13 here and have smiley faces so he's gonna come out first and she'll come out with a bun in the oven all right and if you look on the top right or top left I'm sorry you have the uh, it says eight and plus one so that means we have someone waiting outside for us all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna zip back out we're gonna collect our resources and we're gonna see who we have waiting outside but what we need to really do is go ahead and expand. So let's go ahead and expand our living quarters really quick. Which is going to be 130. There we go. So the lights will be out and then they'll turn back on in a second. We'll level this person up right here. And we'll see what this guy outside has to offer. Alright, so he's good. Three strength, perception, yada yada. His biggest um, attribute is strength. So we want to go ahead and move him where he needs to go, which is going to be the power. So we're going to check who we have right now in the power, which this girl right here only has two strength, and this guy only has five strengths. We'll keep him in there and move her out. So what's going to happen is she's going to talk to the guy, and she's probably going to get pregnant too. But you definitely don't want to keep the same same guy impregnating all the girls, despite what I used to think when I first started playing the game. All right. Um, so he's running in there. He's changing his clothes. Now he's going to go down to his assignment duty, and we just got another citizen, all right, or dweller. All right, and this guy has just pretty much two of everything, except for perception and agility, so which means he can go pretty much anywhere we want to put him. 
All right. So what we'll do, we'll put him in the room just in case the other girl we just put in is not vibing with that guy. She might vibe with this guy. So definitely if you want them to have like babies like off the bat and vibe with others, you want them to have high charisma. All right. And there's later in the game, you'll be able to do what's called like train your stats or attributes. You know, you have like a little classroom. Um, you have a weight room for strength and stuff like that. But we'll go over that in a different video. This is just, I just want to get you guys, so you can get your feet wet, so you can see exactly what you should do when you first start out the game. All right, so looks like everything's going okay. Um, pretty short, at least those two hidden um, hook up there in the back, and she'll come out pregnant, and that'll be that. All right, so that's all I have for this video right here, guys. Um, definitely, if you definitely like the videos, or if you don't like the videos, just like, comment, share anyway. It doesn't really matter. I definitely would appreciate it. Give me some comments to where I can make the videos better. I'm new at this, and I definitely make this a lot better for you guys. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and taking the time out. Um, it's Mike from Swill Entertainment, ending another video. Stay tuned for one. Have a great day, guys.